Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my chocolate Andy's Candies dessert. So let's get started. So what I did is I have one package of devil food cake and I made it according to the directions on the box. You want to let the cake cool. Once the cake is cooled, you want to poke holes with a wooden skewer around this cake. Then I'll pour one cup of Irish cream coffee creamer around the top. Then I'll refrigerate that for one hour. So I have one cup of the Irish cream. Now I'll poke holes in my cake. Now I'll take my one cup of Irish cream, pour it into the holes. If you see where you missed a couple holes, I'm just going back. And that was one cup of the Irish cream. So now I'll put some saran wrap on top and place this in a fridge for about an hour. Now I'm taking some Andy's candies. I already chopped some up. So I'll chop up these. You'll need a package of 8.5 ounces of the Andy's Cream de Mint Thins. So you'll chop them all up. So I'm just chopping them into little pieces. Then I'll place them in my bowl. And then continue on with the rest of the candies and unwrap them. So now I'll cut these Andy's candies. In this package of 8.5 ounces, there was actually 52 Andy's candies. So I just lined them up. Now that I'm all done cutting the Andy's candies, I'll place these chopped up Andy's candies and I'll place them in my bowl. So I'll just leave these Andy's candies off to the side till I'm ready to use them. I'm also going to make this pudding and it's a 5.85 ounce package of pudding. I'll make it according to the directions on the package. Once I mix the pudding, you want to let it set until it's just soft. So about two minutes. So now I'll start the pudding. So I made my pudding according to the directions on the box. And the box of pudding that I used was a 5.85 ounce. So you can see it's just a little bit soupy. So I'll let it sit for two minutes. Now I'll take out my chocolate cake out of the fridge because it's been an hour and I'll cut it into cubes. I have a bowl to where I'll be layering the cake then the pudding, Cool Whip, Andy's Candies. So I have my cake out of the fridge. And you'll cut the cake into about inch, inch and a half cubes. And then you'll start layering it almost like a lasagna. So I'll just cut the cake in half. Put it on my cutting board. You can see the Irish cream. It's really nice and moist. So now I'll cut it into cubes. So I have them into cubes. I'll place a layer on the bottom. So now I have a layer of my cake. I'll take some of my pudding. Place it on top.
Now I'll place some Cool Whip. So I have a container of Cool Whip. It is 16 ounces. So now I'll put a layer of the Cool Whip topping on top. Spread it around. Get a little more. Now I'll sprinkle my Andy's candies on top. And repeat the process. I'll put a layer of cake now. So I have my layer of cake. Now I'll put the layer of pudding. I spread out the layer of pudding. Now I'll put a layer of Cool Whip. I'll spread that. So I have the layer of Cool Whip. Some more Andy's candies. And I'll put the last layer of cake on top. So I have the last layer of cake on top. Now I'll place the rest of my pudding on top of the cake. Spread it around. Now I'll place the rest of the whipped topping on top. I'll spread this around. And now I'll place the rest of the Andy's candies on top. I'll place some saran wrap on top and place this in my fridge and then I'll bring it to my barbecue. Now doesn't this look delicious? You can see the different layers. Well thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye.